We had just week, uh, just last week rather, the ground is saturated. So keep in mind we could see some river flooding and also some flooding in low-lying areas. And that's an effect through Saturday. 8 o'clock numbers, and we will be seeing an update on this very shortly. A Category 2 hurricane forecast Category 3 right there. Category 3 right there at 2 p.m. on Friday, then by 2 p.m. on Saturday, well north. But you get the idea here. The forecast path for us is not favorable. It did shift a little bit west uh, compared to the 5 o'clock numbers and 11 o'clock we'll see if they decide to readjust that we've seen a lot of the forecast models continue to push it maybe a little bit further west but we just have to see what that official track will be that's 2 p.m on friday as a category 3 hurricane that's 111 to 130 miles per hour just offshore here you can see moving onshore around cedar key all the way up north up in citrus county category 1 hurricane so really, Category 2, Category 3 hurricane, it's all uh, not very good news for the Bay Area, especially south with the storm surge flooding here starting any time afternoon potentially, and then shoving that water into the Bay with nowhere to go. Clearly, it's going to go over the banks, and that's a certainty if it stays on that path. Here again, the remnants of Bonnie, which is no longer, perhaps a little leftover trough here, but not enough to play an influence on a large storm. The diameter of the system itself, about 350 to around 400 miles, depending on how you measure it from the eye out, outward. So that's how big it is, about almost 400 miles across. A little spotty in terms of the convection, the higher cloud tops, but racing out ahead of that, we're seeing some strong, intense thunderstorms in pockets. In fact, we've been watching these on Neighborhood Storm Tracker, and especially on Viper, and Jennifer Hill is up right now in the uh, Storm Team 8 Forecast Center, giving us an idea of how this technology is working. We're just seeing an edge now, Jen, toward the Key West area, and we're getting a Doppler radar out of there and starting to learn a little bit more about this system. Jen? That's right, Steve. We've been keeping an eye on it. And that rain is so heavy at this point. You know, usually when we look at our radar, we can kind of look at the intensity on the radar and say, oh, this is probably hail. But in this case, the rain, again, is so heavy as it's heading towards Key West that we do have the possibility of rain rates as high as five inches per hour. So here we're looking at Viper right now. And we're going to kind of change it a little bit so you can see the intensity right there. When that red part on your screen right here, that is the strongest part of the storm. And those are some very heavy rain rates. That's what we're concerned with the hurricane. And not only that, but we also show you right now the lightning, those little white streaks on your screen. That's lightning as it's coming out of that very strong core of rain. And that's going to be the situation, unfortunately, as this moves towards us. And if it does strengthen to a Category 3 hurricane, we can see even more heavy rain bands associated with that storm. As we head over here, across Cuba and gets into the southeastern Gulf.